Hey, welcome guys. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get Wi-Fi on a desktop computer. Now, a desktop computer is designed to be stationary. It's not really meant to be moved around, but I'm going to teach you three ways on how to get Wi-Fi on it. I mean, you never know when you have to move that computer around. Maybe you have an old one you want to salvage, but you don't have a direct Ethernet connection, so you need Wi-Fi enabled. It's really easy. So we're going to start with the easiest concept, move over to the more difficult ones later on. So the easiest way to get Wi-Fi on a desktop or laptop that might have a broken Wi-Fi adapter is this. Yep, this tiny little thing right here is actually a Wi-Fi adapter. All it is, if you open it up, is a USB Wi-Fi adapter. It's a pretty simple concept, right? But it works pretty well, especially if you have a good Wi-Fi signal from your router. So the idea is basically this, you plug it in, and if you have a newer version of Windows, like say Windows 8.1 and newer, especially Windows 10, the newer the computer the better, it's most likely going to pull in those drivers, install it automatically so you can get Wi-Fi nearly instantly. If it doesn't, be sure to read the instruction manual that comes with your Wi-Fi USB adapter. In fact, sometimes if it doesn't, the drivers will be on the same USB adapter. So you'll have the drivers on here, the software that you need to make it run. The next method to get Wi-Fi on a desktop computer involves you to be just a tiny bit tech savvy, just a little bit more confidence factor. It's basically a PCI motherboard adapter. The idea behind this is that you're going to open up your desktop case you're going to take this Wi-Fi adapter, plug into a PCI slot, and, well, install the drivers, as I mentioned earlier with the Wi-Fi adapter. Pretty much the same concept from there on out. It usually comes with an antenna that you can hook up at the back. This does help with Wi-Fi performance a little bit better than it would with Wi-Fi adapter on a USB, of course, because you'll get slightly better strength in the wireless range. Now, the final one is a bit more complicated. Actually, it's fairly complicated if you're not that tech savvy. And it usually involves a method of when you're rebuilding a computer from scratch or if you're building a new one from scratch. Now, the reason I say this is because some motherboards, especially higher end ones, do allow for the additional option to get Wi-Fi built into them. But if you have an existing computer that doesn't really help you unless you're rebuilding it from scratch, and it means all your parts have to be compatible. Or if you're building a computer from scratch, it already means you're pretty tech savvy to start with. But these motherboards, yes, do come with a Wi-Fi adapter built inside, and sometimes they allow for an additional attachment you can put on for additional range, like my motherboard does. So that's three methods on how to get Wi-Fi on a desktop computer. So hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit that like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.